finally. How are you guys doing? Oh, I'm excited for today because uh, I kind of hope to be wrapping up with the post Realm Reborn stuff. Uh, we'll see how that will go. I hopefully increased my camera stuff a bit more. Um, put it back to 1080 because I was at 720. I don't know how it looks on larger screens. Anyway, my mic is really in my face. I don't like that. There we go. So yeah, that is the that's the plan for today. Finishing up with Realm Reborn. I had a absolute amazing time yesterday. Was streaming till uh, I think like three. Yeah, I think it's three a.m. So yeah, it, it's quite a long, long, long day, which is it is fine, you know, it is fine. Anyways. So, let's take a look. The things I usually do at the start. Still can't do anything with this. Please, someone, please explain to me why I cannot make any bits. There's one thing I wanted to check. That's why I actually am over here. And there's Nydia. Oh my god, look at that. That is so bloody cool. Wait, can I write this? Uh, I think I need to be... Uh, that is so cool. Damn good looking. That's a fun ass mount. I want to take this. Let's take a look here. I don't know why can I not get a... I cannot bid on any house for some stupid reason. It, the game thinks I have another house or something. Um, it, I, I think we're reaching the point where I need to remove the early fix. And this is going to be like my main uh, for the video today. I think we'll go Warrior because that is now the lowest class that I'm actually having. Which is still okay. Is there something I need to do before we can actually get started? Well, we can get him some cool as new gear. However, not really necessary, is it though? The Mask of Grief. Let's go to Mordona. Let's get this going. Uh, real estate times over here. Uh, one is finished. I'll, I'll let Zell do all of that stuff. He is really into it. No projects on the way. We're still waiting for clusters. Two of my... Retainers have done their things. That is cool. Okay, that is that is quite nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go. So yeah, um, in the foreseeable future, we'll see. Well, actually, we'll hear. We'll hear more vo more voiced MSQ stuff. Also, rumor has it that. About 13% of the MSQ will be cut with the new expansion's arrival, which... It makes sense. The game is... Very, very long. Also, I forgot to get my drink, so I will have to take, get it at some point. Here we are. The Mask of Grief. Have you a moment, you know? I believe Ida wishes a word with you. I should consider it a personal favor if you would lend a sympathetic ear to her troubles. She has not been herself ever since Moon Parson, and my heart ages, uh, ages to see her downcast. Okay, cool. We'll, uh, we'll deal with it. It's fine, you know. Don't know why we have this, but so many people die in. But now Moon is going to be extremely special, even though we've only known the character for, like, patch 2.5. Oh, yeah, they're spread apart. That's a problem. Yeah, I can see what's going on there. The group's breaking apart. Oh, did not expect to have this jolly either. It's Une! Great! Oh, it's no use. I'm trying to stay positive, but it's just hard, you know. The thing is, I know Moon would tell me it would tell me off. She saw me moping around like this, which is why I decided to cheer myself up by getting her a special flower. I placed an order from a Moon Daisy with Rowena, 
a while a little while ago and it has it is ready to be picked up see i am i am the messenger of a realm reborn i'm also the delivery guy and, and the, these sort of things i believe is, is is what's going to be cut the trouble is i find Rana, uh, rowena a bit difficult at best of times and well this isn't one of them i know it's silly but can you but i just can't face it at the moment so i was wondering do you think you could maybe collect it for me i have the coin to pay for the flower right here well of course if you have money thank you so much i'll be waiting for you and the daisy and red the frost red the frost it sounds like a rap song man uh phone is not unmuted so just so you know there might be texts and I might be sulking about him then. It's all fine. Can't wait to get into Heaven's Ward. I'm, I'm hoping the, this is not going to be too long. So I'm, I've, if it's in four hours, I should, in theory, be able to do this. House of Splendor. Uh, also, let's just summon the Chocobo because I've not been using her at all. Yeah, you, you must be excited. There you go. Put this into my saddlebag for now. Um, I've decided to actually swap most of these in. Because I know you can get a higher grade if you turn in five of them. And I kind of want to see if it's worth a while i also should pick up some gear from these unique things but we can just add it to the chocobo right now this should actually go to the fc and i honestly don't care about that there you go that looks so much better right, here we go uh okay ruin what can I do for you today, adventurer? A rich tricker to trade. Is a, is a payment? Uh, they've got you running errands now? <laughs> These guys really know how to make the most of your talents, don't they? Thank you. See the news. See bloody nose. Sending the savior of Eorzea to the bleeding market. Fine. Fine use of your time, that is. Seriously, though. You'd best learn to say no, or just, or they'll just, uh, or they'll have you mocking out the Chocobo stables next. Uh, this, I've, I've, uh, they should not cut this part because it really feels like this, you know. Anyways, what was it? With, uh, what was it you were here to pick up? The Moon Daisy, was it? Ah, then take it and tell that either lass. I've got a right uh, of wide selection of headwear in stock if she ever decides to replace that dowdy old mask of her. God knows she needs to. Seriously? It's not the best moment. Yeah, no. Sorry. Let's go. Oh, I'm flying so much. Oh, it's just idiotic how much I like it. Uh, we've flown over that way. Just, just go right around instead of the other way we did last time. Who needs roads? We can fly like this. What the hell is that? A leech king? It looks funny though. What the hell? Huh, okay. Well, okay, that's fine. Now let's go over here. We have another sopping scene, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but there we go. I got some my, my, my phone lighting up. 
Uh, Rowena can be so annoying, she just will not take no for an answer. Every time I visit her, uh, she insists I replace my visor with something more fashionable. And when I tell her I like it just fine the way it is, she's, uh, she says it again, and then again, and again. It drives me crazy. Ah, what I mean to say is, I really appreciate you doing this for me. So anyways, let's see it. Moonbreda, love these things, you know. I hope that's... I hope that somewhere, somehow, she knows. I'm still thinking of her. I'm sure she is, lass. I'll never forget you, Moon. None of us will. This, does he have the um, the voice of uh, Nanimo, uh, the, the, the Sultana? Is that the same voice? Well, I'll, I'll get to the dream. All right, here we go. Sorry for that. I should have prepared more when I uh, before I started. Also, I really hate this chair. The song riseth to a crescendo. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, dude. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I like taking pictures. Is that what I think it is? Yes. Emergency call. Hello, can you hear me? We have received grave tidings from Ishgard. Pray return to the Rising Stones at once. I agree. Let's go. Can't wait. I'm so excited for this. I've been waiting for so long. But we, we, we started this character in war. April's been four months. Four months to get me through this. Holy shit. Uh... I, I, oh, um, currently streaming Twitch, so won't be in chat too much. There you go. Yeah, I've start. I've decided I will shamelessly promote myself and my own free company. Actually. You know, I think I, I I have the right to do so, I think. I'm not sure yet. It could be just a bit too much. But actually, the FC has been growing like crazy, though. Uh, we're currently up to 86 members. Uh, and most, well, more than half of them have been online for the last 24 hours, which is good. And then there's a bit of a bump. And I will just kick everyone who... Oh, actually, I don't think... I think this... This is Kana. I can't kick her. Um... Give me a second there. That's something I need to do. Before I forget. Uh...
this was your chair, right? I, I just had to make sure that someone actually said that. There we go. But I don't want to kick um, Assassin out. Assassin is one of the people um, that made the FC with us. And I kind of just don't want to kick them out. There we go. My apologies for the interruption. I was deeply saddened to learn of Mo's passing. Her loss will be sorely felt. Everyone knew her, but I, I, apparently I didn't. Alas, recent developments in Esgard leave us little time to mourn. The envoy from Cortas will soon arrive, and we must hasten to hear a report. Yo, Ida, how you doing, man? I love that mound you were sitting on. I saw that one. The envoy is here. I might be a bit loud today, I'm sorry for that. I didn't sleep too good. I thank you for receiving me on such short notice. The time is of the essence, so I will I would forgo the usual pleasantries if I may. Go will be stripe one. Oh it's four. Oh that's nice. I need to really, really start doing this. Certainly you can come with news from uh, of the Dravanians. Aye, the dragons have begun their attack in earnest. The first wave reached the central highlands a short while ago, and battle was joined soon thereafter. Sir Emmerich himself sallied forth with a contingent of Temple Knight and several companies of the noble house's finest. Though the beasts were ultimately forced to retreat, our victory, if such it may be called, came at the cost of many of our own, too many. I will not it, we will not withstand the second wave should the Dravonian, Dravanians renew their assault. You paint a grim picture, my lady. Is reinforcements you seek then? We do, though it pricky our pride. It is plain we cannot protect Isgard with our ranks thus finned by the horde. Oh, by the horde. Sir Emmerich would meet you to discuss the possibilities of enlisting your aid. Very well, I shall depart to quarters at once. I must warn you, however, however, that the involvement of the Crystal Brave is by no means assured. Our commitment to quell the unrest in Ulda must take precedence. It is with such contingencies in mind that I must make another request. The signs of the Seven Dawn are known for sharing cost. Uh, sharing close tries with all three of the grand companies of Eorzea, which you consider to plead our ca uh, case to their leaders. Sure. Hmm. Though I will gladly appeal to the grand companies on your behalf, I dare not promise a favorable reply because, well, they have been kind of not doing anything. Holy shit, man. Awesome, dude. How are you doing? I have not seen you in a while. How are you? I I I was just, I, I, I uh, asked if if Karna was yours and I, I I think it was, and I need to make sure that because usually I kick people that they have been thirty days absent, but I could place you on inactive. You believe so? Yeah, you have not been on on it for a while, haven't you? You need say no more. Considering our past dealings with the Orzian Alliance, I can well imagine how our plea will be received. But the fate of Isgard hangs in the balance. We must explore every avenue still open to us, no matter how unpromising. I see very well. I shall send envoys to each of the allied nations and have them present, uh, present your request directly to the heads of the grand companies. In the event of your plea does receive a favorable answer, know that any support is certain to be conditional. Demands will be made of Isgard. That is only to be expected. Rest assured that I speak with Sir Emmerich's authority in this matter and that our actions are fully sanctioned by the Holy See. Which leads me to the final request, a personal appeal to you, Warrior of Light, the Lord Commander. Much desire to speak with you, regardless of your fellow, uh, fellow's involvement. You faced Midgard's sum and survived. Anything you can share on your experience may yield us an advantage over our foe. Thank you. You wear the mantle of hero well. 
It would seem the road leads us both to Camp Dragonhead. Seek me out when you arrive, Una. Uh, there can be change. We're getting close to 6.5 in October. We'll reach 7 comes. We'll spend time to... That would be so cool, man. Also, thanks again for the sub. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get... I will wait for the cinematic. Actually. Okay. Oh, these are the heretics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lady Ice hurt herself. Thank you, mate. I'll I'll make sure like you don't have to play it right now. We I can just make a um we have a rank called um the sons must inactive. answer for their father's misdeeds. Only then will the cycle be broken. There you go, man. It was you going Shiva right away. I don't think so, actually. Oh, it's a celebration. Well, okay, maybe not. Brothers and sisters of the heavens, we raise our voices and join you in the chorus. But a singing, it's a sing off. The sinner's feeble magics are undone. Come, claim your retribution. Oh, I love her so much. <laughs> Yes, he is absolutely disturbed. Well, of, of course, now you have logged in. Um, let's make... I, I'm going to send you a friend request because I don't think I have you in this one. Um, I don't know if you're still on, actually. Kana. Uh, send friend request. Yeah, there we go. Do you want me to... You start, yes, he is absolutely amazing. Do you want me to like put you on inactive? That I you won't be kicked then, no matter what, because I have another few like inactive. So Sen Lorin, uh, Roxa Maxa, who is Soros' uh, husband, Galdior, Wenhack. Uh, I just don't. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally delete you. Lion McLion face, he was actually a watcher. Uh, I'm currently streaming a giant yeah, right into my day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Like I said, five components, it's left nothing till seven. So, we'll level that. Cool. Just, just add me up whenever that is, you know. Unable to retrieve this charge. Don't need that. Um, Kana, inactive, there you go, anyone else that needs to be removed from the FC, no, no applications, we're also bidding on a new house, so we're actually quite excited, a uh, 615 will not be much allied raids in the last one, probably relic weapon upgrade, a bit of story, October 5th, the first part, second part, and the final part in January, Usually, that's people like one week and they get tired. Yeah, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's, 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 people have invested so, so much time into this game. I can definitely imagine, um, people being anxious for the next, the, the, the actual next expansion. For me, I have not reached that, so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited by everything that's been happening around me, and I can't wait until I reach Heaven's Ward, which is extremely, extremely nearby. It seems I was swifter, you know. You too, however, have arrived with, uh, with time to spare, for our host has yet to make an appearance. 
the murmurings about Kemtel of some manner of trouble at the gate of judgment. In the Lord Commander's absence, I suggest we visit that place and find out what is afoot. So how have you been uh, doing, Assassin? What have you been up to? Oh, cool. good to hear, mate. Good to hear. Hopefully, eventually, we'll be actually able to provide you with enough people to do that. But we'll see how it will go. Uh, we have a bowman. The Gates of Judgment are much more than the Mare Doors. They are a outermost lair of Ishgard's magical wards. If our first line of defense can be so easily shattered... Wait, it's shattered? Yeah. Wait, it did shadow, did it? When I lay my eyes upon Lady Iceheart, I felt the marrow freeze within my bones. Heretic scum, how dare they meddle within divine protections. I shall rid the nation of their blasphemy. Even if it means cutting them down one by one. You are still motivated. That is great. Good for you. We need not fret over much. There are yet several layers of arcade protection that shield the city from invasion. Mother will be fine. Uh, yeah, this way not the man. So two rolls. Yeah. I can definitely imagine, like, I'm definitely not up to level, and I also... I would be... I think I would never be able to join a group on a regular basis doing these. Because of my working schedule being an absolute nightmare. Okay, Elfinot, tell me. What is it that you want? What is it that you want, my man? Would seem the heretic struck the first and most telling blow against the Ishgard. Science, we expect you at we expected you at Camp Dragonhead. Are you pissed now? You could just lead us to Ishgard right away. My apology. We decided to had we decided to hear that. Wait, we changed to hear what there had been. Tr we changed to hear that. There had been trouble at the gates. And through it, I... Prudent to investigate the cause. Why? This is not your land. Then you have learned of the heretic's treachery. Lady Arsha had led a force of her followers against our defenders. And came close enough to dispel the first of our wards. But let us speak more of this back at the camp. So Amrik awaits you. Yeah. Unfortunately, my work will never permit it. Even though I have like a fixed uh, working schedule, it can be changed on a moment's notice. Lady Isaac has grown bold indeed if she would risk direct actions against the city. Come, let us do as we are. We were bid and return to Camp Dragonhead. Lord Hushifar and... Uh, we'll know where Samrik means to receive us. Yeah, I, it, I, I would really love doing that. I would absolutely do, but I, I just don't. If I had a 9 to 5 job, then I probably would be able to do it. But, yeah, let's just, let's just face it. It's never going to happen. There were options for me getting into a planning position and I, but I would have to spend four years uh, until I was m making the money I'm making right now and that would be a bit too much for my liking. This reassuring, it's reassuring indeed to behold the countenance of a friend when one's homeland Teeters up on the very brink of disaster. Though a single misstep could send us plunging into the abyss. Your heroic presence strokes the flame of courage within my heart. Ah, did you not come all the way to Dragonheart to listen to my prattling? The Lord Commander has arrived and would tre uh, tread with you in the intercessor. Cessia? Okay, come on. Come on. Time is of the essence. Let my character go. Thank you. 
Have you done the moon fire fate? No. Oh, I, I didn't. Because I heard it's a lot of talking. And I, I want to get into Heaven's Ward. When does the event end? I think like not another week, right? Where does it start again? I think, was it Ulda? Not sure. Uh, in my FC, everyone is on shares, but the rate there. You know, it, it's it. I, I wouldn't mind if we have a, a good group of people together to do the raids, and we don't have like fixed groups. We just go with whoever is available, as long as they understand the mechanics, which. And Saturday morning. Then I will do it this week. Probably not today. I might just do it as a recording though. I think that would probably... Well, unfortunately for me, I'm going to be deleting my so-called main. Reason... Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's... That didn't... <clears throat> well, the problem with my so-called main... Is I don't play it. I've only been playing on this character. I've been streaming everything. I've been... Uh, with the exception of the leveling of the crafters and so on and, and alt classes because I will do new game pluses for them And you can say well you can use daily fix <clears throat> And it's true I could But there is no point in in having my dear old ogre Doing the same stuff that I've been doing with Une. Oh, it's not voiced? Ah, oh, come on, game! I thank you for coming with such haste and apologies for my absence. Suffice it to say, Lady Isaac and her heretics have much to answer for. Yes. We are but recently returned to the gates of judgment ourselves. Given the circumstances, we quite understand if you would prefer to postpone our appointed audience. On the contrary, Master Alphenot, I think it's more important than ever that this meeting takes place. Rest assured, I shall return to my post on Ishgard's walls uh, the moment our business is concluded. Before we move on to the subject of reinforcements, however, I would introduce you to a close friend and stalwart ally, Esselstein. Wait, we know him, right? Wait, we, yeah, we... It's not him, go away. Oh, yeah! Of course! There you go, man! Fucking bad ass! Really? Oh, I love those things! I was doing... Um I did the uh, Odin on my white mage and then the white mage master came and that is that is so cool I love those those little details are so important may I present to you Isgard's Azur Dragoon An impressive title though I confess I know preciously little of the order of dragoons They're a formidable warrior uh, there are formidable warriors all and even among such masters of the lands Eistin is without equal he, out of all the warriors of Isgard, was chosen to wield the power of dragons and made us content with any Dravanian. You flatter me over much, Lord Commander. So, you're the adventurer of whom they spoke. I see now why my blood, uh, my blood fair sang in a bit anticipation of our meeting. Um, discussion will have him refer to you as the Azure Dragon if you complete the job. Oh, okay. Interesting. 
Well, now that we have been introduced, let's proceed to the matter at hand. I would share with you what we have learned of Ishgard's design. As confessed by the heretics taken capture after the assault on the gates. It would seem that Lady Iset and the Dravanians share a common goal. The reclamation of Nidhogg's stolen eye. With Nidhogg? One of the seven great worms? His name features prominently in our nation's history, though once defeated by the hero Altrat, the beast is said to have terrorized Korta since Ishgard's founding. Aye. Many are the scar scars away with. Many are the scars our well our walls bear from Nidhogg's relentless effort to raise the city. The trophy Haltans plucked from the bested worm's skull, however simply as known simply as the eye, is a treasured relic of Ishgard and one possessed of untold power. Uh, should it ever be returned to Nidhogg, the dread creature would be restored to its height of its strength, and then no wall or wand we could erect would be stout enough to deny him. Wait, they, they grown weaker? Oh, that is so cool. Oh, man. Now I, I kind of want... Eventually, I want to try leveling up all classes same and simultaneously and see what is different. Oh, no. You have to play as that class, right? It's not like you have knowledge of the class i think you actually need to undergo the mission as that class is not is that not the case that is not the case oh that is cool my vengeful son red hold uh waged my vengeful son had waged war against ishgard for a thousand years no mortal mind could comprehend the depths of his rancor you can be any class okay so that actually it would work then. Cool. The eye itself is secre uh, secreted deep within the vault. It is kept under heavy guard, surrounded at all times by men and women who have proven their loyalty to the Holy See. But though stout walls and sharp blades may suffice to discourage the heretics, the dragons are another matter. They are individuals within the Dravonian Horde who... An entire company of knights would labor to repel, to say nothing of Nidhogg himself. Nor does age rob them of their strength, though the endless march of years the dragons endure, patient, calculating, inexorable. You must understand, these creatures do not share our perception of time. And that is especially true for the Great Worm. They who spend centuries in slumber only to wake and resume their campaign, as if mere hours had passed. It has been 20 years since Nidhogg last darkened our skies. 20 years for him to gather the strength and for us to bolster our defenses. And now, just as he seemed primed to return, the heretics strike at the gates. You believe Lady Iceheart is in league with the creature then? Of that, we can't be certain. Though I know the heretics covered the eye, we have been unable to detain their plans for it. Such questions aside, we must need address and raged hold their ma mi raged hold their mistress has seen fit to rend in Isgard's protection. What? Okay, whatever. It's a weakness in a Dravanian... A it's a weakness the Dravanians are not like to leave untested. So it would seem. You have described your plight in admiral detail, Lord Commander. Yet I cannot help but wonder at your candor. Why share such sensitive information with us? I shall speak plain. Ishgard is in need of allies and I would have you bolster our front lines and readiness for the coming battle against the dragons. 
This is this much I expected, unlike our arrangement concerning the keeper of the lake. However, only you stand to benefit from our assistance in this matter. I fail to see why we should intervene in a conflict which concerns only Ishgard and Ravania. When the Eorzean Alliance requested Isgardian assistance during Operation Anchor, you refused us. Do does it not seem grossly unjust to demand that we now risk our life for your private war? Oh, he's going to be pissed. I can make no, no attempt to defend my country's conduct. I c only ask that you consider what would, that, uh, I could, what would follow were Isgard to fail. Having raised our city to the ground, the Horde would have little cause to linger, and most would return to the Lairs and Ravania. Soon after, soon thereafter, the ruins of Kurtas would be buried in snow, and the land would become the sole province of beast and beastmen. Under the Garlemen's arrival, that is, for you may be certain that the Empire would not hesitate to claim Kurtas. They would not even have to draw steel. True, he makes actually he makes a fair point. The Imperial Province sh sh uh, sharing a board with Modona, seven hours. Yeah, we don't want that. Although, why would the dragons not push forward? Like, why would the dragons not attack Eorzea? Um, very well. We will assist in repelling the dragons. The roar of the Great Worm may have shaken the fir firmament, but we of Eorzea will not abandon our Isgardian brothers to face the common horde alone. Really now, you that's a bold promise. Nor did I think you would. Now, upon a matter of the roar, allow me, Sir Amric. Though the power of the eye, I've become a vessel of Nitor's strength. His, absen, uh, his essence was of has stolen into my very blood. His essence has stolen into my very blood. Fear not, I'm in full control of my faculties, I assure you, and the eye itself is of no relevance to this tale. It is not essential that I bear it with me wherever I go. Its lingering influence does, however, allow me to hear Nitro's voice. Then the worm who roared was Nitok. I. He means to hurl his horde against Danny Finn's collar and shatter the remaining wards that protect the city. This can be no doubt. The worm has summoned his minions to war. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Though the circumstances are far from ideal, his desperate endeavor will at least prov uh, provide us with an opportunity to bring the sister states of Eorza together in a common cause. Sir Emmerich was more ruthless in his negotiation than I anticipated. I suppose one must give no quarter when one's home is at stake. But did you see that look on his face when he formally requested our assistance? Though the Lord Commander was long campaigned for Ishgard to open the gates to outsiders, I suspect his softening of the Holy See's attitude towards foreign cooperation comes at something of a bittersweet victory. The days ahead promise a promise to be interesting indeed, I agree. If we are to aid the Asgardian into the wars of death, preparations will have to be made and soon. Before proceeding, however, we must need to return to the Rising Stone and make our report to a dissident. Okay, let's go to your dissident. This this is a full patch of me talking. 2.55 has no dungeons, no trials. And, and I think it's only like Hey Plur! How are you doing, man? Or Frederick? I can just call you Frederick, right? How are you doing, man?
Alfino, it is Thank good God. to see you. Tell me, what have you learned? Pray summon the others. Everyone must hear my report. I, I donated the money back to the FC Bank. I am not able to make a donation. I, I have to figure out uh, what's going on on Daily Fix. We can try it, but I don't have 17 million. So this was all but a taste of what's to come. Indeed. The main host advances upon Ishgard as we speak. Whose vaunted defenses have been nullified. Shorn of its wards, the city will bear the full force of Nidhogg's fury. All those people... Alfino is right. The Dravanians cannot be allowed to prevail. If Ishgard falls, all of Eorzea will suffer the consequences. Then you agree that we have no choice but to intervene. For the good of the realm, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn and the Crystal Braves must join the defense of Ishgard. Let there be no ambiguity about what has been proposed. We would be directly intervening in the war. But if all here believe the cause to be just, then to war we shall go. The path we now embark upon is perilous, but I pray you will walk with us to the end. Of course, I'm your messenger. I'll go wherever you go. For those we have lost, for those we can yet save, Then it is settled. I shall inform the Council of our intentions and request that they contribute their own forces to the defense of Ishgard. Don't think they will, though. I think they're going to be flat out refusing us. They have their own problems. Half of a war is going on in Uldar. Like, they, they don't have any reason to send reinforcements right, with all of the, the roughest of the domains. He looks bloody cool though. I might make remake one of my retainers into his character. I quite like that. What is this? This is not voiced. At least they gave me a few moments, right? Uh, I have bid the Angrons travel to the uh, assigned nations. Should the members of the Alliance agree to pledge the Grand Company soldiers to Isgard's cars, our comrades will be hard to act as intermediar intermediaries for the duration of the conflict. The small matter of persuading the Alliance leader to grant such support, I leave to Alfinot. For now, my friend, a different task await. I would have you reach out to our fellow adventurers and gather what allies you may have, may, that you may for the coming siege. Wait, there is a fight? No way. It would also, I would also have to consider the matter of our own security. Reverend Stoll is but a short flight from the snowfield of Kortas. It is not unimaginable that the fight may spill across the border. Pray, uh, 
Pray briefs uh, Slavborn on the brewing conflict and discuss potential contingencies. The frontier settlers must be prepared for odd that might wing its way over our walls. I only hope that such precautions prove unnecessary. Ah, before you leave, might I suggest that you have that uh, that Taru accompany you. She has a talent for administration and a firm grasp of the practical challenges we may encounter. I don't have a dungeon, right? There is this. There should not be anything in this patch. I think. That is just outside. Uh, if I come uh, across a FC bank. There should be 17 in there. Or enough. Uh, uh, or, no, wait. We, didn't we take the money out and had mill donate? I think that's what happened. That's why we made that, that, that rank. Actually, you made the rank and I just assigned him to it. Um, we are rather close at quarters, aren't we? We'd best see to our own defenses and take stock of our supplies. Oh, and we we'll also need to have beds and bandages laid out just in case. A good receptionist is ready for any eventualities. Let's go. I have a hundred and one things to discuss with Staffborn. Oh, the poor man. Look, I'm trying to speak as fast as I can. Because I want to get through this and I'm quite worried that we might not have enough time. I appreciate the warning. If war is coming to Kartas, then the toll must be made ready. I'll increase the number of patrols and lookouts immediately. I'll also see about finding room for an infirmary as well as a temporary housing for the victims of the conflict. Isgard has done well by us in the past and I, won't, I would return the favor. But as for rounding up volunteers for the fight itself, I'm afraid I must disappoint you. I will not send my fellow guild members to die on Isgardian soil. And I'm certain headquarters will say the same. There will be no official adventurer guild presence at the siege. That said, each adventurer is of course free to do as he or she wills. I shall have a word with some of my more capable colleagues on your behalf and you might try your luck in Reverend Stoll. I dare say there are a few stout souls about town who will answer your call to arms. Let's get started! What's, what's up with the gloom? Like, does it mean anything? A company's adventurer. I don't think it's going to happen. Nope. Spare me a talk of glory and fame. I am not in the habit of volunteering for lost causes. I have survived as long by trusting my instinct and my instincts tell me to stay well away from Ishgard. Come on, man. Hello. <laughs> Isgard sounds like she is in the right mess, but that ain't what I wanted to talk to you about. I need you to cast your mind back to that scruffle with the Empire out by the processing plant. A lad from Little Alamigo by the name of Old Wilfred ha was there with the fourth that day, and I want to know if you've seen him since. Oh no, no, Will. Oh, he was actually up on the. Oh no. Yeah, damn it, I feared so much. No one bloody seen him. It's like the ground opened up and swallowed him whole. But that ain't all. Around the time Wilfred stopped uh, uh, turning up for duty, them black market weapons went, uh, went missing from our vault in Ulda. So now, of course, half the crystal, uh, half the braves suspect the lad of making off with the goods. I don't think so. 
Folk like to believe our company is a disciplined fighting force, but as you but as you and me both know, it's no more than a motley collection of mercenaries, adventurers and grand company uh, veterans. The only thing as binding us together is some vague oath about fighting for the freedom of all and the steady pay. I like steady pay, that's why I work my work. Now, compared to most others in the crew, Wilfred's a fresh-faced novice, a bleeding whelp among wolves. But the boys got passion. When he talked about being a guardian of Eorzea, he bloody well meant it. A lad like him would not rob us blind and bugger off like that. He ain't a type. And then... And then... And... This is just between you and me, mind. There's a fact of the lad wanting to tell me about something queer he noticed in the ledgers. Something about the Braves' numbers not adding up. Aye, there is a villain at the end of the trail I've stumbled on. And I'll bet me good eye it ain't young Wilfred. Any road. You've got a war to wage, so I'll let you get on. I just thought someone should know. I'll be seeing you now. Hi, he, he, he did good telling me. Yeah, he did good. He's smart. He's smart. Smart lad. I like him. I like him a lot. All right. Now, okay, back to recruit. I don't think there is a f chest here, right? Yeah, out of all places, they decided not to place one over here. Right. Also, wait. There's one thing I need to do. Uh, not you, you. Uh, Tombstone of a Warrior. Can we show Warrior Marauder? That would be the gear. But I kind of want the accessories first. Uh oh. Tenacity. Direct hit. Direct hit. Yeah, I think it's the tenacity, right? The earrings of defending for a warrior. No? Uh, let me just say something back. Uh, so, hi there. Go streaming. So, I'm not paying a lot of attention to chat. I think it's. I think it, we need fending. Slayer seems more like a dragoon. Yeah, let's go for it. That's one. Two. Three. And then we need two of these. Oh, I'm shy. I'm just a bit shy. Uh, this does increase, right? Have you looked on the market for gear? I, 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 had, uh, I had amazing gear from someone. And it, it is actually quite nice. It's at 115, but I'm going for a bit more. I do want to get tenacity. Hey, Daper, how are you doing? That absolutely increased. We could actually take the aiming. Getting a tiny bit of vitality, but I kind of don't want to. Uh, market board your gear. I'll help. No, I, I, I kind of want to do the MSQ. I do appreciate it though Looking for bargains. Yeah, uh, well I did not see you until you said something. Yeah, I, I'm I, I did notice and And I was like, oh, I need to say something uh, Okay, let's talk to this guy. So is God seeks our sword to bolster the ranks uh, I'm not sure like the sound of siege those nobles will surely be generous with their rewards. Ah, but I have pledged myself to guard Revan's tall. Modest work, though, it is. I am loath to break the terms of my contract. What to you, what to do? A good day, Helen held here. Yeah. We'll uh, continue this. Like, I do, I know the 130 gear. 
for the part I am into this story is absolutely good. I need to go up there. I also, I don't have money. So, I'll be good. I'll be good, mate. Don't worry. I had a great time yesterday with uh, Helen, uh, Nadia, as well as uh, Zell. And later, how was she called again? He's so new, I have yet to memorize his name. Which was Javelina, Grey Red. He joined as well with uh, Odin. It was such a good time, I had a great time. Sell my blade to his guardians. Well, them dragons are a fearsome lot. But I'll slay me fast shaft coin was good. I just put a bit on a house. Oh, wait a go. Wow. You're making good money then. Hopefully it gets accepted. Way to go. I've worked with one of the knights before, you know. Watch me like a bloody hawk, he did. Still, I'd put up with worse than that for a heavy purse. Okay, so he's actually joined. 3.4 million, dang. You've been doing well. I did not have that money when I started, right? I, I was a poor lad. I think I need to be in here. No? Oh, there we go. Volunteer my serves in the defense of Isgard? I think not. Dragons claim the lives of every one of my brothers. I do not mean to offer them mine. It was to escape such a fate that I took up the mantle of adventure in the first place. I should sooner die in the pursuit of fortune than huddle back an icy wall. Behind an icy wall, actually. Man, man, you're rich. You're rich. I, I think I didn't... How the hell did you make that? What level are you? In what part of the MSQ are you right now? Damn. There you are. So, did you sway any hearts? Of course not. No one was willing to join. One or two, eh? Well, add it to mine. That makes three or four. Not including Starburn's friends. We won't have a large company in army. Uh, a company in the army. But I'd say one Reverend Stall veteran is worth a dozen clanking knights at least. I do agree. I do agree. Okay, let's go. Oh, I've been so caught up with recruiting that I almost forgot there's been word from Alfinor. Apparently the Alliance leaders are con convening in Uldar to discuss Ishgard's plight and they've requested your presence as usual. Anyways, you better make your way to Uldar or you'll be late. Alfinor said that he would meet you on the Royal Promenade. Okay, well, let's head over to Uldar. And I'll check the FC Sally. Man, you are absolutely amazing. You, you've been just... I should do that, actually. So the Beast Stripe is actually very rewarding then. Which Beast Stripe did you find out was actually good at making money? See, there's nothing in here, and uh, let's take a look at history. Yeah, Millet took out. I put in my 17 million, and Millet put it out. This is so fucking funny. Huh.
Okay, let us go to the Chamber of Rule. That's why I made the the forum. I know there is 3.6 something mil in the bids that we've done on the auction, on, on the houses. So if it all fails, at least we have that money back. And we'll build up on it. If we're an accountant, you're not doing the best of job knowing where your money has gone, though. What the hell? If you want, we can actually make you... Uh, you can also make a forum post as well, right? And just post where you spend your money. You can just do that. My apologies for calling you away for, from your task. I had hoped to proceed with these negotiations one leader at a time, but it seemed, seems my urgent request for an audience has prompted the gather of the council. Dissipatable in... Yeah, that's true. Uh, needless to say, I feel obliged to obtain... The alliance leaders are already seated within. Let us join then, shall we? I don't think this will end well, but at least it's a cinematic, right? We are well aware of Ishgard's dilemma, and we agree with your assessment. Then I trust there are no objections to the Crystal Brave's intervention. Why would that? Has not. Gridonia does not object. Oh. The Crystal Braves are yours to command, Alfino. Do what you will. We shall pray for your success. I, I don't think this it boats was my well. I hope that you would offer more substantial aid than prayer. I know it is within your means. Uh, why would they, though? Do not presume that you have knowledge of our every concern. The Garlians and the Beast Tribes are but two of many. Yeah, precisely. Just put him in his place. We are not in a position to contribute greatly to the defense of Ishgard. Not when our own homes are still under siege. We dare not leave our interests in Cartano undefended as well. Telegi Adelegi and his ilk would seize control of the territories in our absence. The enemy is at their gates and you would cower behind yours? Look, they did the same. No one is cowering, boy. We will offer what support we can. Aye, support. A handful of men and no more. Would that we could commit more than a token force to this cause. Yet there are others to whom you might turn. The free companies ever want for work. Ah, yes. The free companies. They're not like to turn you down. I beg your pardon? You would entrust the survival of Ishgard to sell swords? Hey, dude! We ha we have feelings too, you know. Crises like these are the very reason why this alliance was formed. It is our duty to aid our fellow man. Oh. My duty is to my country and my people. If you expect us to place the welfare of a foreign power above our own, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Yeah. He is so naive. Lest you doubt. Limsa comes first, then the Alliance, and finally, circumstances permitting, Ishgard and the rest. If you cannot understand so simple a concept, then you have no place at this table. Why is he here? It's the cham me, chambermaid. Admiral. I was careless in my choice of words. I suggest you assemble a party of elite adventurers, assuming you haven't already. Your fellows served us well during Operation Archon. I dare say they will do so again.
If I may, Your Grace, I wish to propose a redistribution of forces. If we entrust the security of Uldar to the Brass Blades for a time, we can dispatch a larger force to Ishgard. She fell asleep. Your Grace? See? <laughs> yes. Yes, of course. Do what you will. No, this is not the voice of that uh, scion. So Grace not feeling well. To the best of my knowledge, her Grace is in perfect health. I see. Carry on. Okay, well, he is still a badass. So, are we right to assume that we are like halfway through this patch? If so, then we can actually make it. Once again, I owe you an apology. It seems you have been conscripted into leading a contingent of adventurers on yet another mission of inestimable danger. But I fear we have been left with little alternative. We cannot well abandon Lord Halfinor and Sir Emmerich to their faith. We must abide by the council's decision, as short-sighted as it is, and strive to fulfill our role as Eorzea's guardians. Captain Ilbred, what news? Then the assault has begun? We have but a moment concluded our audience with the Alliance leaders. Move our forces into position. Your unit will join House Durandair at the Steel Vigil. Man the cannons alongside the Knights and Finn the Ravonian Horde ere their descend upon Ishgard. I will join you as soon as I am able. Which is usually after the battle. And I would have you and your adventure allies bolster the defenses at the Steps of Faith. Report first to Sir Marshallan at the Gate of Judgment, and he will direct you to where you are needed most. May the gods grant us victory. Is is this a duty like a gate, an apt, or is this just like scripted battle? Like, is this a dungeon? Should not be right. The, oh, you think that they turn it into a single-player thing? That's awkward. Uh, all the way. Yeah, uh, I've done this fight like once and it's a lot of pulling back. So I can definitely imagine it being somewhat annoying. You are the appointed captain of the Cell Sword Conjuns. Then welcome. There is no shortage of blade work to be done. As we speak, Ravanian skirmishing parties have uh, are hurrying, hurrying positions across Central Highland. I've assigned the Crystal Braves and your fellow adventurers to contain these scattered attacks. And for the present, I would have you join them. This is, of course, merely a precursor to the attack of Isgard proper. The will, the wily serpents seek to divide and confuse our forces, but we will not be so easily drawn out of position. The Temple Knights will remain on the steps of faith and con uh, continue our preparations when the horde arrives in force we shall face uh, they shall face a wall of his guardian steel report back to me once their advanced skirmishes are slain 
Wait, what? Okay. I thought we were having the, the fight on the bridge. That's a freaking long way down, though. Okay, get myself some more of these greens. Get my defiance on. And we could put... Any, no, we can't use infuriate. Been a while since I played on this one. Damn dragons. Oh wait, there's more. I'll save up my fury until I can do four of them steel attacks. I've entered the sea of clouds. Wait, what? Oh, cool. Wait, can I fly over this? No way. Wait. No way. Now, there would have been something, wouldn't there? We do need to go over there, though. It's up. The Horde Commander. My mind. Ain't he a sharp looking one? Wait, he's just glitching every time. Like, he just doesn't even switch. He's just... He's just there. He just rotates on his axis. Okay. That's how we head over to... I think, like, the gate then? Yeah.
I remember playing this for the very first time some years ago. I was walking in here and I'm like, why won't they make me? Why can't I pass? I didn't read any of the story though. <laughs> what news adventures? The reinforcements decimated, you say? Dravanian devils made a scaly height. Oh yeah, damn the scaly height. Hold fast to your grave and fury, my lady. We will avenge the death of your fellows in battles to come. Alright. Steps of faith. Yeah, you commit yourself to the siege. You should know that... Uh, you, you should know what it is you are asking. You are tasked with defending. Beyond the gates of judgment lies the steps of faith. The great bridge of stone that leads directly to the city of Ishgard. More than simply a means to cross the Sea of Clouds, the bridge served as a foundation for the arcane wand that forms the barrier we call the Fin Danny Fen's Collar. Alas, in dispelling the barrier outmost lair, the tries damned witch ice hut stripped the bridge of its protection and thus are the dragons now able to land unhindered upon the steps of faith should the ravine succeed in destroying the remaining of the wards the winged devils will be free to swarm within the city itself needless to say we can't suffer that that happen i uh, it shall be our task as defenders to prevent any harm to come to those parts of the bridge wherein the wards are sealed. Three yet remain and we are dispatched and we have dispatched our forces accordingly. I must ask you and your comrades to accompany our defenders at the utmost ward. I should hope that includes us as well, yes? It's not like he knows who the fuck they are, right? Oh, well, he does. The science of the seven dawn? We should, uh, we should not well stand idle by where the horde threatens the good people of Ishgard. Indeed, to do otherwise would go against all that Master Lewis has taught us. As for where we may be best of assistance, I think it prudent we divide into two groups. Ida and I will join the rear guard. Why Ida? Ida has so much a front, a front line fighter. He, okay, he's, he's, he's a mage. Why Ida? Right, if the dragons should teach us, we'll be sure to give them what for. Thank you, all of you. Pray speak with me again when your preparations are complete and together we shall stand against the horde. I hope so. I trust you are ready then. Good. Let us come. Uh, let us make for the battlefield. Oh, I'm making level sync to 110. Oh, that's sad. Uh, selling furniture, there's dice. Sell them in small stacks of five. It's actually quite good. Thank you for the advice. If you made 3.4 million with that, I could really use that for the FC. Also, maybe get my own room. I still don't have an own, uh, my own room in the FC house. I've been donating all of my money to the FC constantly. Okay. In event, participating in an event game, we claim victory. Ooh, this, this dude, large. Okay. There we go, finally. Quick. 
that up and running. Keep doing them AoEs. I don't want to be hit by that. That definitely seems like it will hurt a lot. That's fast actually, it doesn't give you a lot of time to change. You don't want to be in the center of it. And I'm going to be saving up my rage or whatever it's called again, the meter. Okay. Oh, that's not good. I need to be like somewhere else, not over here. Can I get up? Uh, okay. Run, forest, run. Oh, these guys are so fast. Oh, they're going to die. Come on, guys. Ether, to me. Uh. Oh, there's the devoted dragoon, but he is not the azure dragon, right? Do one more. Hey, now it's time. Do that one. And he hurts. He is definitely fast and strong as well. Don't get me into that. Ah, uh, heal. Heal, please. Thank you. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh damn. Oh hell no. Oh hell no. Oh leave me the fuck alone. I don't want to die in there. Oh, I'm so dead. I don't know why. Come on. Get that up. Oh, okay. I never like. I really like the battles more where there's actual players so much better usually did you get you mate get everyone in here Where's the other guy? There was two of them. Where's the other one? Let's get rid of the alts first.
this will sting. Buff. Look away from me. Oh, that's not good. Okay, one attack is like... Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Oh, wow. One attack breaks the damn wound. Oh, that's not good. It's not good at all. I have to fall back again. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the f Why do I. Oh, no way. There was nothing warning me about any attacks. Yo, Paparimo, heal the frick out of me, dude. Assistine is there as well. Yeah, Assistine, Wormblood. He's badass. I like him. Get out of that. Save up because the damn dragon is coming in again. Okay, Fifty percent. Various strength is going down already. Five? Wow, seriously? Like five points? Look, I'm doing my best, okay? Wait, he's getting shit on the damage right now. Okay, 32. Am I supposed to be in there? Sixteen. Feels like he's getting more damage right now.
Oh no, we have this. We got this. Die. Ah. Victory. Wow. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. The dragons, they were drawing. Victory is ours. One of Nick's Ogg's great champions slain, the Horde will not soon recover from this blow. But what of you, Nidhogg? Why did you not join your minions and make of this uh, and make of this battle of slaughter? Have you grown so fond of your sten of the stench in your lair? Mayhap you prefer to have your allies fight your battles for you. You have a girl. Wait, you have a girl to do your bidding now, do you not? No matter. I shall slay Ice Hurt and all the rest. Ice Heart, it's not hurt. But I yearn to spill the blood of the great worm, Nidhogg. And only your death shall state my lands. This guy is absolutely... Great at jumping. Alright, uh, Elfinor. The dragons are roaded, lest you wonder. The fight of, at the Steel Vigil was also fierce, but my crystal braves were not, uh, were not found wanting. Wait, what? They were not found wanting? Uh, Command 11, yeah, Une. True to your word, you arrived to aid us in our hour of need. On behalf of the Holy See and the people of Ishgard, I offer you my humble thanks. Though it would stay and lavish you with well-deserved praise i fear i must away to oversee the aftermath of the siege not all the dragons are fled and there are yet wounded to be carried from the field pray let us meet anon that i might express my thanks with proper cour uh, courtesy courtesy Not the best look over there. Like, what are they thinking? We have indeed achieved a victory of singular importance. With the Ravonian horde thus weakened and shattered, the threat to Isgard has been greatly diminished. And mayhap. Equally significant, the Holy See must now recognize the necessity of cooperation with foreign powers. Long have they barred their gates against the outside world, but I am confident that the day will soon come when Isgard proclaims itself a member of the Eorzean uh, Alliance once more. Much have we sacrificed in our struggles against dragons and primals. The, an 
the Asians and the Empire. But step by unfaltering step, we march ever nearer to our goal. And as ever, the journey is made with you in the van. Wait, we have a van? Fuck. We're walking constantly, prick. The victory you have won this day gives us great hope for tomorrow. It's a hope that shall sustain us in the days to come and bear us past the many evils that yet seek to hinder our progress. Yes. We have done well, my friend, and I for one would take a moment to savor the enormity of our achievement the demands of duty however allow me little time to levity i must accompany captain ilberg back to Ulda and reassign those braves whose squads suffered heavy losses you my friend have earned a rest at the rising stone Pray return to Reverend Stoll and share your tale with Menphilia in person. Why? You're, you're going to call her anyways. You've done so every time. I get there. And Menphilia says, well, Elfie not called a hat. Why, why do I bother? We will see to inform the other nations of what took place here. Do be sure to give our regards to Menphilia. Alright, let's go back to the Rising Stone. Oh, I should be able to do this. Four hours. There is a, a, a cinematic, right, at the end. It might be a bit longer. Uh, let's see if I'm right. Welcome back. Elfinot sent word of the siege and of course of the role you played in ending it. Why am I here? Why am I here? Your deed never ceases to amaze me. Thank you. Uh, spell speed, skill speed. Uh... Skill speed, I guess. Broken bridges. Achievement unlocked. You must be weary. And now many... Uh, and now may very well be your only chance to... And dissident. <laughs> so fucking casually. A messenger from Ulda arrived with a missive for you. Must be from Alphenot. The royal seal? Curious indeed. Okay, that's not Alphenot then. Unless he married her. No. An invitation? On behalf of the Council of the Orsian Alliance, Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Un Namo invites the Science of the Seven Dawn to attend the feast at the Royal Palace of Ulda in honor of Ishgard's recent victory. It would seem we are to be recognized for our part in lifting the siege. You, for your valiant efforts as commander of the adventurous contingent and the Archons for their earnest attempts to rouse the city-states. Truly, I find it strange that the Alliance leaders should think themselves deserving of a place at such a celebration. All three refuse to deploy their standing armies, preferring to send hastily assembled companies of sellswords, many of whom perished ere the siege began. Wow, okay, so they all died. That sucks. And they truly are they truly so blazing as to seek to share in the glory of your triumph? Ah, but may have they see, uh, simply seek to protect the meeting with the Isgardians while the mood is yet yulbrand. 
such an occasion would present a fine opportunity to press for Isgard's return into the Eorzean Alliance. We have scarce had time to mourn Moon, and I, for one, am in no mood to... Karos. Karos? But I suppose we must put away our grace for the good of the realm. Though you are promised rest i fear i must insist that you also attend it would be a strange celebration indeed if the victorious hero were not present pray content yourself with the thoughts that such an occasion may bring about momentous change and this without cause to bloodshed okay uh that rule would you be would you do me the favor of contacting the rest of the science uh, as you will and please let me know if there's anything else I can do okay good I'll, uh, I'll grab something to drink real quick because this is bad for my voice Ah, but still I am excited, curious. I have not, I've never known that route to sign at such a request. Could all be a miss? Oh no. Oh, I think I know what's going on. Okay, let's go to a desk. And no one there. Okay, she is not there. Great. You. That's right, I believe she just stepped outside. Now that I think on it, she did seem rather preoccupied. Is over there, okay. <sighs> yeah, can't wait. I really I I knew that I loved this story the second I got into Heaven's Ward. That was such a amazing story. Uh there she is actually. Okay, let's go. I still have to do all of the crafting. Now, I will spare you the details. Like, I'll do a new game plus on all of those things later. Like, I, I won't make you watch me craft. I, I know that is definitely not interesting. Oh, and it's you. I didn't mean to worry anyone. It's just really... Well, it's nothing exactly. But I feel like nothing compared to the towering trials you and the others face every day. And that is why I should probably talk to Minfilia about getting any worse, about, uh, before things getting any worse. Ah, you always know what to say, you know? I'm glad we had this little chat. You're freaking kidding me, I can go back inside again, damn, damn potato. Should we not look up to the one guy uh, that's missing? Oh no. Yes, that's where you have my undivided attention. I've been hesitated to broach the subject. Uh, what with all the recent excitement, but they made me realize that there's no time like the present. And time is what I'm here to ask for you. I'm not sure I understand. If you wish to be excused from your duties as uh, for a time, then you certainly have earned the rest. But I suspect the lying about is far from your intent. You know me too well, incident. There is, in fact, something I've been wanting to try my hand at. 
Along with the adventurers and the Crystal Braves, the Scions are constantly being thrown into dangerous battles and deadly predicaments. predicaments. Even Horde, Boulder and Cornet have been promoted from guard duty to fill our need for competent warriors. And so it seems only right that I too should acquire the power to defend myself and others more importantly. When I return, I shall be both your receptionist and your bodyguard. Good luck with that. That's the first time I've almost been knocked on the ground by Lalafell. I've never seen Miss Tataru so determined, as odd befell with which I might help in this incident. Ah, not at the present, thank you. There was something you uh there was something you would ask of me. Oh yes, pray excuse my distraction. An adventurer who has joined us for escort duty was injured while out on patrol, and I fear we cannot properly defend the scholars entrusted to our protection without the aid of at least one more off oh, freaks. Therefore, I humbly request that another adventurer of the capable kind, of course, be assigned to our party. Very well, I shall consider the potential candidates and provide you with a replacement as soon as I'm able. My thanks. I will take my leave of you. Here we go. We all know what's going to happen. Wait, there's two? Unexpected ambition? And... We are all needed? I'll start with the above, above one. Minfilia has a loss for words. The power to defend oneself, Tatoro has never seen so full of surprises. Now that I think of it, I do recall Uranje mentioning that she had developed an interest in the Arcanima. Perhaps she hopes to gain admittance into the Arcan Arca Arcanist guild in Limsa Liminza. Yes, that would be the way of it. Would you be so kind as to journey to the guild and see that all is well? It is doubtless unwarned, but surely I'm not alone in the Why? Come on, man. It's, it's, come on, everyone can do this. Why me? We're only, I think I'll do this one first. I don't want to start running two quests at the same time. It's confusing for Academy. I'm also going to be picking up the blue mage. I was talking about it yesterday. And it seems like a cool class to fill some voids. Wait, where the hell are I? What? What? Oh, I need to go down. This just feels bad, you know. What are you doing here? I would be I would be annoyed. This is it should be a surprise. I didn't mean for her to worry. That's the last thing I wanted. Putting an end to such worries is precisely the reason I'm here. Don't you see? I Tataru Taru shall become a great and powerful arcanist and now um the guild masters at the guild masters behest i must go and complete a special training course until we meet again i think it's killing sheep or something yeah, let's talk to the guild master i think we need to talk to her i cannot pronounce that tuberangain tuberangain yeah no way Ah, 
Ah, uh, if it isn't Une, what brings you to the guild? So, you are acquainted with our newest member. An arcanist of your experience must see that her potential is somewhat lacking. Nevertheless, she shall not be denied and goes to undertake a first trial. A simulated inspection of three crates doubtless you recall receiving similar training under uh, under your supervisor uh, for the curse to me why not oversee Tataru's training yourself given your relation with the girl and your familiarity with the task I think you I think you're the ideal choice you need only Head to the cliffs south of the cipher gate as before and observe for the distance. Okay, I can do that. Wait, she needs to kill level 1 red. Yeah, of course, that was the one, yeah. Killing level 1 reds. Oh, I'm not singing. No fucking way. Hell no. No. No, no, I refuse. And this must be a true test. But uh, we're ready for them, aren't we, Carbuncle? Yeah. Come on, attack. Uh, Carbuncle? And that was all the reason for me being here. Yes, yeah, sorry, dude. No fucking way. Carbuncle is, is out of here. Carbuncle left the building forsaken by your own summon to deal. Yeah, okay. It's Tataru dies. Oh, come back, Carbuncle. Come back. Wait, I didn't even click. I'm sorry, the You got to be kidding me. I got to talk to her as well. Yeah, I, I witnessed this. This absolute failed attempt. Your carbuncle does not have any respect for you. This, this is not good for morale. I should have known you'd come. You don't need to say a word. Your face says it all. I know you bore witness to my shame. Betrayed by my own carbuncle <laughs> and left at the mercy of wild beast. Oh, I'm so sad. I must accept the truth. I'll never become a warrior like you and the others. I will inform uh, the guild master of my intention to withdraw from the guild. I came here uh, like so much else is beyond me. Yeah, I'm lazy. Let's just just ret return. I don't want to walk. No way. I, 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 I don't like this quest at all. Like being so close to the end and, and they make you do this. This, this. this makes no sense. Like, yeah, okay. It's somewhat funny. But that's about it. Ah, uh, back so soon, I'm fed of fledgling arcanist. Yeah, retiring. Uh, abysmal. Mm, uh, Guildmaster Abysmal, as Une will testify. I was wrong to become an arcanist. Wrong as usually. I'm completely and utterly unqualified, and I sincerely apologize for wasting your time. That's true. If that were true, I would not have permitted you to join in the first place. 
We must all come to accept our limitations, lest our ambitions lead us astray. However, we must not lose sight of our strengths in the process. For example, your exceptional skill with numbers helped you to gain a solid grasp of the fundamentals of arcane, arcanema. Were it not so, you would have struggled even to summon Carbuncle at your side. In my opinion, the Scions are truly fortunate to have such a capable and good-natured receptionist at their service. Would you not agree? Sure, we always need someone to answer the link shell. You are too kind, miss. Though I could not overcome this challenge, I shall take your words to heart and try not to, dis to be discouraged. Oh, that's so dense. They all have the same bow. Hey, well, that's done. Good. Wait, what? Ah, uh, okay. I don't know this one. As fledgling as these uh, as fetching as these garments are, I fear I shall never don them again. But I cannot go back to the Rising Stone without something to show for my time away. Wait, I know what I can do. That's it. If you don't mind, accompany me for a little longer. Wonderful. Then to Casa del Sol will go. It is a bit of a gamble, but I'm confident it will pay off. Is he going to be buying me dinner? Has to be that. What else could there be? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. No, put on some clothes. Oh no. Yes. This is it. This is where the man at the drowning wrench told me to look. There is a certain variety of clam which can be harvested at the time of the year in the bloodshore. One which produces the most marvelous pearls. However, these clams are also converted by certain wild creatures. And since I fought, uh, fared rather poorly in battle last time. <clears throat> let us be off. Oh man. Why are you wearing a swimsuit? Okay, before we go. He leveled? Yes, he finally did it! I should do some faves, get him to 10. What fortunate, I've already found one. Would you be so kind as to keep watch while I work? This should only take a moment. Why do I have to watch over there? Why can't I... Whatever. Okay, it's fine. Who am I to make to judge about this decision, right? I sense a hostile being. Oh, wait. That? That's it. He looks cool, actually. I like that. Twice. Do one. Do two. Do three. Yeah, I should probably ho remove home gang. I've never used it. I also don't really like the idea of it. 
I probably am not understanding the skill well enough. Well fought and well fought. I knew it was right to ask you to come. Of course it was. As for me, I have my prize. A bounty of blood pearls. So named for their reddish hue and their treasure that wars against dark magic and ancient times. I thought I might make charms for everyone. So that no matter where they go, they will always come home. It's sort of the power to defend myself and the other people in a way. Right, well, yeah, I mustn't keep flying Wade in. There's work to be done, and lots of it. Where to rescue provi uh, provisions for the science in the Leminzian market? See, so may have a. Wait, we have to secure provisions for the science in the Leminzian market. See, so may have an eye for quality, but I have a nose for bargains. Will you be heading back to the Rising Stone? If so, pray convince my apologies to a dissident. Tell her that she needn't worry about me. I think we can do that. Farewell. Thank you for everything. That sounded rather well, final, didn't it? How about until we meet again? Which I will probably assume is when we head to the Rising Stone. Is she going to be Eden? No. Okay. Uh, okay, whatever. Can we just get on with this? I want to head to the next area. Come on, man. I've been waiting for this for four months. And then they send me off to do this chore. Jeez. Uh, I gather you found Tataru in Limsa Liminza. My, it sounds as though she had quite an adventure, and while it did not end as she had hoped, I suspect that it will prove to be a valuable experience. I dare say she could have managed without your intervention. Even so, I appreciate, I appreciate your indulging my request. And just, just give me the money. Where we are needed. I wonder, do you perchance recall the commitment I made to furnish Hoary Boundary with a capable adventurer? Well, I'm sorry to say that I have as yet been unable to do so. Now, I realize that you are rather more than a capable adventurer. And that escort duty is frankly beneath a woman of your talents. But I have no one else to turn to at present. Might you be willing to forego rest and assist us in this matter? Like, do I have a choice? Generously to a fault. Yeah, okay. Now, it seems only fair that I explain the importance of the task in question. For, ta for some time, our order has employed a handful of scholars to travel around the Orsia taking Ifric uh, readings that we might better understand the impact of primal summonings. Naturally, it behooves us to ensure our employees' safety and so we ask the adventurers in our service to serve as escorts. Boulder and Coltonet were to act as two such escorts. As was a third adventurer Alas, due to injury, said adventurer is not presently fit for duty, hence my need to impose upon your goodwill. 
We tr uh, you truly are a pillar of strength. Boulder will share with you the details of your task. He should be waiting for you outside. Be safe. Oh, here we go. Is it true that you agreed to lend us a hand? What did I tell you, Kurnet? Our misfortune is becoming a blessing, an opportunity to serve alongside the warrior of light herself. Need I remind you that we have three scholars to escort, which of whom will take a different route? True, true, but our mission is the same. Separated by moms we may be, but in spirit we shall be together. Oh, that's so cringe. If such thoughts brings you joy, you are welcome to think them. Two more practical concerns. We would have you to attend to a scholar's charge with surveying the southern shroud, the south shroud. He is awaiting at, ca at Camp Tranquil as we speak. All you need to do is follow the man. He will determine the most appropriate location to take the readings. In spirit, in spirit we shall be together every step of the way. That shield is way too tiny for the guy. There's no way he can hide behind it. Unsettled scholar. At last, a sign woman designed to grace me with a present. A pity that we have no time for pleasantries. Our first destination is Isomha. Come, we are late, although uh, enough as it is. Oh, I'll hate you. Oh, I hate you. Where is that? Okay, to the left in a second. Yes, this location should suffice. Once I'm finished calibrating my instruments, I will require but a moment to take the necessary measurements. I trust I need not to explain that my work can su uh, suffer no interruptions. Then please, stand at a, at a appropriate distance and keep watch over Wild Beast. Should we just kick him in? Say like, well, he was attacked. Come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. They're like too far apart. That's annoying. This fight is is so sad. Like even my Chocobo could do it. Why? Hey, I think he's done. I see we have both completed our respective tasks. A satisfactory outcome, though. If I could make some suggestion, you might try to dispatch your foes more quietly in the future. I don't like to pick fault, but I really must be allowed to concentrate. Yeah, let's kick him in. Now then, snake more the weight, shall we? It's that deep. It's not deep enough. I don't think we can fly over the mountain. Right about here, yes. As before, I would ask that you keep an eye out for dangerous beasts while I work.
Uh, at least these are not as far away from each other. Hey, thank you for the uh, for the follow. Appreciate that. How are you doing? I'm not pronouncing the name because I'm thinking it's a joke, but... Fascinating. These readings are not all what I expected, though, perhaps. That should come to no surprise. I'm not given to su uh, superstition, but there is a queer, almost bathemious air whereabout. Let us... Quit this place and return to a Roots Lake. I have one more site to survey. Yeah, I think it's around here. Was it Endor Keep or something? Not, not sure. As before, my guardian, pray leave to me the task ensuring my safety. I did a challenge apparently. Oh wait, there's more. I'm not moving away anymore. Half of these are just such a low level, I, I really don't care. I'm actually quite impressed he didn't die right off the bat. The data should provide an invaluable. Your God, what is the stench? Did you slaughter a creep? A slaughter a creep of elementoids while my back was turned? Quickly now to camp tranquil. I will not have my clothes reeking of blood and ofal. What, what's what's an ofal? I will just fly there. Come, that, that's even too lazy for me to teleport. You chose to pedal in the Inca while uh, in the Inca a while longer. I take it. No matter. I took advantage of my unexpected privacy and performed a. Curious analysis of my data. It would appear that there has been a measurable decrease in Eorzea's ambient ether concerning since of concentration since the calamity. However, this data is far from cons conclusive. We must take additional measurements to conform to confirm my assessment. All right. For your next survey, I would have you to esco escort me to Uldum's Fount. The ambient ether concentration there are so high that crystalline structures form spontaneously. Consequently, anomalous fluctuations should be much easier to detect. Brilliant? Yes. No, don't bother answering. That was rhetorical. Now, come along. Can we just... Can we, can we just feed him to a monster? 
I hate him. And let's let's just let's go over the trees here. As far as we can go. Can't go over there. So annoying. Go away, cat. Nobody likes you. <laughs> you should be more than familiar with the proceedings by now. Pray find a suitable position. Keep watch while I take my measurements. Yes, yes, quite high. Still made remarkably lower than the historical measurements taken at the end of the 6th astral era. Could the presence of a primal account for the difference? Or is there something else? Something else... Oh, he's wandering off. Yeah, he dies. He must die. Come on. It's always run for safety or run for death. He's an idiot. Something else... Oh... Sion, Sion, come here, I need you. Oh no. Man, I liked him. I actually quite liked him. Fear not, my friend's help has arrived. There you are. Oren, I were worried that you and your charge failed to return at the appropriate hour. Got it like a hawk, but not by one, no. These wounds were made with a blade. Doesn't look like he put up much of a fight either. Nary a mark on a sword or a shield. I've heard nothing of any Crystal Brave operation in this area. What caused that Wilfred to be come here? What should we do? We will see to the Scholar's protection, Una. Alright, can I do something important now? Aye. And the boy's remains. You should return to the Rising Stone. The Indicident will want to know what happened here. I don't know what happened here. We just found him, dude. And so do I. I'm actually quite sad to see Wilfred die. His rebellion in Little El Amigo and then his turnaround when we met him in Ulda. Quite sad. But he dying and nobody knowing, that that's weird. Or him dying, he dying, whatever. You are returned, and you seem troubled. Did the role of escorting Shafe so I don't know what I don't know what Shafe means then. Is that his name? Wilfred dead? May have murdered? By the twelve, how can it be? I will send word for Ivanod at once. He will want to conduct a full investigation and send word to Wilford's family. God, that's kind of kind. That's kind. God, he was just a boy. Who could do this and why? 
I'll take the money, I don't care for the rest. Though recent events weigh heavily on our minds, we must need to set them aside for now. Do we? Oh no, what do you what do you want? We are coming to the def defining moment in Eorzean history. How do you know? The grand comm commemoration of our joint defense of Isgard. The first time in 15 long years that our people have stood side by side with the neighbors of the north to fight in common cause. This may mark the true rebirth of the Eorzean alliance, failing that it would at the very least serve to bring our nations closer together. Failing that? I don't know if, I, if that was right. We have every reason to raise our voices in celebration, do we not? We have bested the Dravanians and the Eskars both, as es uh, es Eskians both. Against des uh, desperate odds, we have fought and won. But the primals still plague us, and the Empire still plots to subjugation. And our triumphs, remarkably though as they are, were. We're, we're bought at a terrible price. We're bought at a terrible price. Sorry for that. I just could not get it out of my throat. Brave adventurers and allies broken on the steps of faith. And before our eyes in the very room our dear friend Monbrea. This is a victory we have wrought. And it is bitter ash in my mouth. Alright. I would sooner stay here and invite those with more appetite to enjoy the feast in my stead. Alas, as a royal banquet and all of our allies we uh, will be in attendance, it is our duty to present a unified front that we might serve as a beacon of hope to all. Look at that face. It seems I have no choice but to take my own advice. I instructed the others to meet us in Ulda that we might make our grand entrance together. Unfortunately, I had to settle for leaving Tataru and... Uh, why is the... That, that sign gone in the name. I'm sure they he had like this L and then this, this weird sign above it. Lamin and Node. If they do not return quickly, they will have to settle for whatever leftovers I can smuggle out of the fragrant chamber. Off to the big soiree, you know? Raise a glass for me, eh? Or not? You don't look best, please, lass. Something on your mind? By the navigator. Wilfred's dead? God damn it. They must know where... Uh, they've... Been. Wait. They must know they have been rumbled. I mean, uh, sod it. This past time we had, it's past time we had this talk. After our last conversation, I got to thinking about where certain funds were coming from. So I had a digging around on the quiet, like, and sure enough I found it. Seems a fair bit of coin made its way into the Braves' coffers courtesy of a Dodo Consortium. A daft name for a business as ever I heard one, which is what gave me an inkling that something weren't right. 
So I went through the ledgers again and found another half dozen donations from organization with stupid bloody names. Didn't take long to find the common threat. They're all owned by the Mirage Trust. Oh, I'll give that bastard credit. He showed up for the amateurs we are. He showed us up for the amateurs we are. Short of calling one of his business the bloody bribery, bribery consortium, I don't know what more he could have done to mock our rules on financial contributions. The guards only know how many men of the first and third are taking Telegi coin. But now that we know, as some of them are, I'll wager my right eye, there's the ones that did. They're the ones that did Wilfred. An earnest young fool had taken to asking the wrong kind of questions, bound to attract attention. He was should have seen it at a time but i didn't god damn me it's it's, it's 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 talk is really confusing to me still i don't see what telegy hopes to achieve he hit his scheme with all the care of a drunken person to the wind ah come on he, someone is framing him it must be no he's clever than that so we need to be clever too that's the only way we'll ever repay the debt of blood. We'll purge every one of them treacherous bastards from our rank. On that you have my word. You better watch your back, mate. Oh no, mind yourself when you're in Uldar. We're heading into a storm, I can smell it. The kind that will swept a man overboard and drag him under four. He knows it. And drag him under four. On the four, he knows it. Okay. Pirates. They all talk like they all talk alike. I can never pronounce it. it started when we got to Limsa Laminza talking to um, Baron Baron something in the inn. I that really hurt my brain a lot. And I don't have too many cells in my life. Self mockery is allowed. Eleven people online, huh? Damn. Nice. Let's go. There is Minfilia as well as Stola and everyone else. We have been waiting for you, Une. The celebration is due to begin shortly. I'd hope that we might make our introduction together but mistress momadi just sent word that you are needed at the quicksand got to be kidding me come but not gone we will go ahead and pre join us once matters at the quicksands are resolved okay Give my regards to Momadi and let her know what that I will call upon her a nun. Okay, let's go. Uh, oh yeah, this one actually has that stone, the Adventurer's Guild Traveling Stone of Eta Shard. Helen Russian there. Changing. Not even paying attention to little old me. He will go into the inn. <laughs> yeah, that's my offices. I appreciate you dropping in on such short notice, Une. I know you've got places to be, so I won't waste your time. Your friends at the Crystal Braves by the name of... Elaine, aren't you? Former adventurer, come to think of it. I'm pretty sure you recruited her yourself. 
Well, anyway, she came around for a meal not long ago, and before she left, she asked me to give you a message. Said if the others ended up dragging you to the feast, I was to see you got it before you made your grand entrance. Meet me at the station west of the coffer and coffin. There's something I must show you. Short message, I'll grant you, but she fought long and hard before picking those words. Barely touched the food, though. Under these circumstances, you'd have fought those signs of a troubled heart. But something tells me she ain't planning to ask your thoughts on a gentleman caller. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, we are so damn close. On the way to Black Brush Station. I'm excited, finally. I, I, I don't... Did I... Did I stream my time in Heavensward? I can't remember. You're gonna watch the movie tonight. Yep, I will. We'll watch the movie. Didn't think so. But I didn't think so either. I think we started uh, streaming when we hit um, Garuda. Yeah, we we started we started actually reading. We streamed everything, but we started reading at Garuda, and we I think we kind of stopped before we hit Heavensward. And then I did Heaven's Ward by myself, and I was like face palming. As you stand upon the platform, your thoughts begin to wander. And all too soon, the ghosts of comrades, comrades lost and enemies slain begin to file by your mind's eye in solemn pro uh, procession. Clearing your head, you scan the horizon, but there is no sign of Elaine. I'll just wait longer. Straining your ears to listen, you hear the chatter of Curran and the buzzing of Syravids, but no approaching footfall. Signing, you bow your head only to notice a vial lying at your feet. Yeah, Heaven's Ward was so good, I couldn't stop playing. And I, I can't wait to actually be in that process. I really like Une. Larentius, what brings you out this way? I don't trust you, mate. You betrayed your comrade once. Like, uh, what's it called again? Those, um... Lieutenant Ellen and... Why? No, I haven't seen her about. Had she come this way, I guarantee we would have crossed paths. I must have passed this spot a dozen of times, back in Southern Shroud. Yeah. We're on patrolling the city in Varus. On account of the royal banquet, captain's orders. You understand, speaking of which, isn't it about to begin? You should be with the other honored guest, enjoying your well-deserved respite. Aye, pray return to Ulda, Une. If I chance to meet a lieutenant, I will tell her you were here. Hallowed spirit of my line. Through my weakness, the glorious house of Ul has all but disappeared beneath the sands. For want of the strength to raise it up again, it were better that it fall. 
forgive me, but I know not what else to do. Interesting. Uh, let us head back to Uldar. So I, I think I'll spend my um, my offline time doing beast tribe stuff and just selling dice. Apparently, you can make a lot of money with them. Didn't even know that. Oh, what the fuck's that? Here we go. Ah, what am I doing? Come on, pay attention. I will be crafting. I've not done so at this moment. Um, because I was actually waiting for the the diadem unlock in 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 uh, three point three, I think it is. Not that it really like matters. Yeah, the end of 3.3. See, that's where... 3.3 is, is as far as I got. I reckoned you had strayed into the feast after meeting with Elaine. What's the matter? No appetite? Clouded vial. So, she wasn't there, but this was? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Looks to me like a, an alchemist vial. But beyond that, I can't say. Might be best if you hold on to it for keepsake, though. Any road, no use worrying about Elaine. I'm sure she will turn up before too long. And where, where, and when she does, we'll soon find out what was all in aid of. Wait, wait. We'll soon find out what this was all in aid of. Besides, you got more important things to think about. Read the description of the vial. Uh, I don't have it anymore. I I didn't read. What well, what's what's on the the vial's description? Um. Right, um, uh, Final Fantasy fourteen clouded vial. Let me go. No, no, you don't need to rem No, 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 don't do that. Clouded vial. This tiny glass contained container appears to have been used before. But to contain of what? Pray tell. That's apparently what it says. It was used before. Okay, whatever. Would you believe that while you were away, another message arrived for you? Well, one did. Dum dum dum. Now I want to know, it was, it was used before? One delivered by the Sultana's handmaiden no less. Seems her grace desires a private audience. Her handmaiden will, met, uh, will meet you in the royal promenade and escort you to the Sultana's chambers. So, what are you waiting for? Go on. What is it been what? They will tell me right. You needn't trouble yourself so. Your grace is most kind, but it is no trouble to me, rather an honor. If your grace is ready, I shall summon the warrior of light.
哦。Oh, there they are. Pleasant trace. Didn't raise a weapon or anything. Everyone looks to be in high spirits. With good cause. A common victory may serve to unite even the most unlikely of allies. You've brought us one step closer to a united Eorzea. Your modesty knows no bounds, Antecedent. Were it not for your efforts, Sir Emmerich would never have become such a steadfast ally. When he convinces his countrymen to rejoin the Alliance, we shall all reap the benefits, military and economic. I tell you, we are on the cusp of a new era of unity and prosperity. Territorial disputes are all that divide us now. But I have faith that we will find an amicable solution in time. Oh, really, really thinking that way too easily, man. And failing that, I'll have my trusty warrior of light box the ears of all concerned. Speaking of whom... Like a disposable arrow. She will be joining us shortly. A matter at the quicksand required her attention, but it did not sound serious. Um, okay. Oh, oh, fine, I'll just move there myself. You know, they could have at least teleported you over there so you would walk in right I am extremely curious to see what they will do with the MSQ in the new expansion 13% of the MSQ will be cut. Like the like these chores, like these make no sense, like the researcher or something like that. Oh, the researcher did have some story thing in there, but still. Thank you for coming, madam. Your her grace is most eager to speak with you. If you require a moment to compose yourself before her before your audience, you may have it. Or if you are ready, it would be my honor to escort you to Her Grace's chambers forthwith. Upon proceeding to the Sultana's bed chambers, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. I need water before we do this. I need to compose myself. Holy shit, guys. Come on, man. How long has it been? This is it. Uh, let me check YouTube. I want to see when is the first time I uploaded with Une. Which was day one. Yeah, the 22nd of April. Pre almost precisely four months ago, we started streaming using this character. And now we're like, how many parts in? 
This will be part 34. The fuck? I'm excited. Let's go. Enter. Your Grace, your guest has arrived. Pray come in and take your ease. Is well that the steps of faith held against the horde. And what of the city proper? We sustained some few losses, but the heart of our nation yet beats with vigor. I am not certain I could say the same had we not received your most generous aid. An attack on Ishgard is an attack on the realm. We stand together or fall divided. Such noble words, after the fact. I had hoped to speak in the presence of her grace, but it seems she has been delayed. That being the case, now would seem as good a time as any. Honored friends, Pray allow me to convey Ishgard's warmest gratitude for your part in the defense of our lands. Tis upon the success of this very alliance that my recommendation to throw open the gates of judgment shall be founded. With the blessing of the Archbishop, it is my hope that Ishgard will soon be reunited with her long estranged sister nations, and that Eorzea shall once more be as one. Stop sulking, dude. Very well. Is Artemis? Nothing to worry about. I shall return anon. You wished a word, Yu Yu Hase? You may go. Your Grace. must be curious as to the reason for this private audience. The matter I would discuss, however, will soon make apparent the need for discretion. I intend to abdicate the throne and dissolve the monarchy. You have seen for yourself the storm of turmoil that howls through our streets. 
The government fails in its responsibilities, and my subjects suffer the consequences of our incompetence. But I will see them suffer no longer. The Victory Feast shall provide the stage on which I declare the dissolution of the Sultanate. It is mine intent that the ruling class of our golden city should take its place beside the common man in a fair and equitable republic. No more shall this nation bow to the whims of a privileged few. Oh, they are not going to like that. Yet, that which I propose will entail the tearing up of this city's very foundations. And even Roban, with all his strength and influence, will be hard-pressed to keep his footing on such treacherous ground. Thus would I ask you to lend him a steadying hand. You who have endured the wrath of innumerable foes are the one hero in whom I can place my trust. Will you do this thing for me? Alright, okay. What's up I with their faces, grateful. man? More grateful than I can well express. Much of my dread for the coming days has been quieted. Oh, he knows. Ooh. I really like Roban this game. No, I didn't mean that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he knows. There you go. Abdication of the throne. Check. Isn't this how they all go? Oh, <laughs> your Grace. Look at them. Grace, the Sultana, is dead. Yeah. Poison in her wine? He, is, he should be called Sherlock. He can see she's not breathing apparently, dying from a meter away. Seeing there's poison in her, he, she could have swallowed a fucking grape. You, you did this. Spare us your denials. I see no other suspects, and the room has but the one entrance. His voice, this voice actor is really good, by the way. I really like that one. I hereby accuse you of a regicide. Men, arrest this viper. I, I don't trust this either. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Sir, barring a few exceptions, we have detained all those with allegiance to the Scions. The Rising Stones is also under our control. Look at you, man. Hostile takeover, like a boss. That's why you don't trust Lollafels. He was in it for the money. He never made a secret of that. Huh. 
And what do you hope to achieve with this mutiny? Why, that which we have striven for all along, Commander. The salvation of Eorzea. What is the meaning of this? Knights from the homeland? This cannot bode well. Lord Commander, we have received an urgent message from the Holy See. I am grieved to report that your serpentine foes have resumed their assault. Needless to say, your presence is urgently required. These knights have come to bear you swiftly home to Ishgard. A surprise attack. We've had no such word from our men, and the timing is most fortuitous to catch us away from the city. Most fortuitous indeed. Lord Commander, we must away! You have been a most gracious host. I hope that I might one day return the favor. Come, Lucia. He knows as well. It didn't sound too... thankful. What else is new? What else is new? Whatever is going on in there? Ah, the ever dutiful brass blades. I must apologize, but my dance card is rather full. Another time, perhaps? Thancred! Of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. You stand accused of committing acts of espionage in service to the Galian Empire. Espionage? What in the Seven Hells are you talking about? Ah, if you're referring to that business with the Ultima Weapon, then you must understand. I, I wasn't myself. Under interrogation. An Imperial prisoner revealed your involvement in numerous dealings with the enemy. We've also been investigating reports that you are a practitioner of forbidden arts. Wait, like, you can't be a black mage? The fuck? You best come along with us. You invite me to your party and now you want me to leave? I do so detest receiving mixed signals. Come then. I believe I've lost my appetite for this farce of a celebration. Go too far, Lord Adelegi. By what right do you march armed soldiers into a royal banquet and eject state visitors without her grace's consent? You treat the brass blades as your personal army and show contempt for the throne with your every act. Leave us now. Is that an order, General? Mayhap you have mistaken me for one of your flames. You will find I am not so slavishly obedient. <laughs> As you lecture me on personal armies! 
As for your outrageous claim that I have shown contempt for the throne, let all here observe that it was not I who feasted while an assassin removed its occupant. I expect this is your idea of defending the nation, is it? This and diluting our forces through these distractions in Cartano and Curthus. I do begin to see how the ranks of the immortal flames came to be riddled with Garlean sympathizers. You are plainly unfit for command. Wait. Wait, God damn you. Your words make no sense. What assassin? <gasps> You mean to say you don't know? We caught the vaunted champion of the Scions in her grace's private chambers, not moments after the deed was done. No! No, this cannot be! Save your breath. You will need it to plead your case. You and your entire order are to be tried for this atrocity. in the prisoner. Why would, why would you do that? This woman stands accused of poisoning Her Royal Majesty Nanamu Ulnamo and his suspected accessories to the crime all members of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn will be detained for questioning. Just give me a second, the dogs. They have, they have perfect timing, you know, every time something exciting, something, you know, something's happening, they always need to go outside. This is madness! What a pity. Who'd have thought your tale would end like this? Should you demand further proof, a vial with traces of the substance used to poison her grace was found upon the assassin's person. How very convenient. Yeah. You would speak of convenience? Who persuaded Her Grace to host this celebration? A diversion which presented you and your confederates ample opportunity to commit the crime and a crowd within which to fade from view. A more convenient occasion I could scarcely imagine. How dare you, after all we have done for Uldar? Hold your tongue, witch. I'll not be ensorcelled. I know all about the dark gift that you and your disciples wield. Oh, yes. I've observed how you worked upon the minds of the Alliance leaders, bending them to your will. And what of your cordial relationship with Sir Emmerich? For years, Ishgard abjured all contact with the outside world, and now the Lord Commander of the Temple Knights treats you with the familiarity of a childhood friend. I'll tell you what I think. I think this desperate defense of Ishgard was but a ruse to deceive us into dividing our forces. Your next move will be to charm your Curthen allies into invading our lands. Now that is truly ridiculous. How do you even think of this stuff? He's barking. She... she cannot be dead. I'm so sorry.
Alright, that should be the last time, my dogs. Um, how do you say that? Like, interrupt this? Sorry for that. Stand aside, Ilbert. I want to see the Sultana. Spare yourself the pain, brother. I saw her with my own eyes. For a mercy, the poison took her swiftly. Her handmaiden can attest to that. This cannot be. Nanamo. Nanamo. No! Did he just smile when he walked away? It's a little bit of a smile going can no on. no longer be relied upon to keep our nation safe. And so it falls to the monetarists of the Syndicate to govern Uldar. But should you wish to help us, General, we would be more than happy to entrust the task of planning Her Grace's funeral to you. It seems only right that you should bury your precious Sultana, and we will be glad to be rid of that burden. Yeah, I don't think I'll that was smart. You more than any man. Whatever do you mean? I mean you had her killed, you black-hearted bastard! Oh, that's a fucking good picture. I'm going to <laughs> love that. <laughs> Though I did have sufficient motive, it is true. That young lady caused me no end of grief. She always was a most unwilling puppet. I dare say her grace was grateful that someone thought to cut her strings. Ooh. Do you want to die? Look at that lip. Then mock her. Then mock her from hell. What? He's a twin now. Well, he was. Have you lost your mind, General? It is forbidden to draw steel in the royal chambers, much less slaughter our fellow syndicate members. <gasps> You're one of them. You've been in league with the Scions all along. You, your next to scheming bastard. Admiral, we must leave. Ah. Yeah, they're right in a coup. So, of course, they, they just... They have to leave. Makes so much sense. How unlike you, old friend. I did not expect to take your arm so easily. Take the Scions into custody. They have conspired to commit regicide. And arrest this traitor as well. Ilbert, I hope you choke on their coin. 
It's better than the dirt I've supped on these long years. We can't all abandon Alamigo and become great war heroes as you have. You are not the man you once were, Raban. Since that girl strapped the yoke around your neck, you've become docile. She took the mad bull and cut off his balls, and a bull that cannot rot is fit for naught but slaughter. Okay. Shall I tell you who really killed your precious Sultana? It was me. You... You die! That trash talk is good. Look at him go. What class is he? Doubted you, not for a moment. But there is more to this than I yet understand. Flee this place. Clear your names. Find out who is behind this plot. It is the only way. Now go! He's taking the high ground, dude. Ah, there you are. Sancred, where have you been? So true to Tosti. Avoiding the fumbling advances of some very persistent admirers. But when I realized the celebrations had turned sour, it seemed prudent to slip away and take stock of the situation. Twould appear that much of the city is already under tight guard. It occurs to me that expanding the Brass Blade's authority may not have been such a wonderful idea after all. The success of this plan was contingent upon those thugs having the run of the place. Just how long has this scheme been in motion? The careful preparations, the maneuvering of forces. I am inclined to agree with the General's insistence that a deeper plot exists here. So, would I be right in thinking we now have an excuse to pummel as many brass blades as we like? Unless you plan on pummeling them all, I'm not sure that will greatly aid our cause. The Sultana's assassination was but one part of the scheme. We too were its targets. And though we did not share Pornonimo's fate, we are yet hobbled by the charges laid at our door. Where now might we seek refuge? Where indeed, we may safely assume that our foe is thought to have the Rising Stones watched. Forgive me for stating the obvious, but our choice of destination will matter little if we cannot secure an escape route out of Ulda. Happily, I believe I can provide one. Papashan once told me about the passages hidden in the walls of the palace. If I recall correctly, the fireplace in Anima's chambers conceals the entrance to a tunnel. It should lead outside the city and allow us to avoid any messy confrontations. Oh, that's how she got out. Uh, if you start in Uldar, one of your starting missions is to...
protector, I believe. You go on ahead. I'll handle this lot. By yourself? Uh, I suppose I shall just have to join you. Crystal Braves too, huh? Now this should be interesting. Ida, Papalimo! We will hold our pursuers here. Hurry, now! Find this tunnel of Thancreds! Minfilia, we cannot linger! Now look what you've done! Ida, are you alright? There are just too many of them! I'm fine. I could do this all day. How about you? Nearing the end of my tether. Are they all three the same face? This is so stupid. We're the scions of the seventh dawn. The ones who stand between this realm and the evil that's trying to destroy it. And if you think we'll leave the stewardship of Eorzea to the likes of your masters, then you're solely mistaken. Sorry I dragged you into this, Papalimo. <laughs> Tis hardly the first time, and I'll be damned if it will be the last. He's a black mage, right? Oh, that looks good. I never knew such a watercourse existed beneath Uldar. 
The architecture is of the Sildene style, if I'm not mistaken. The ancients plainly foresaw the need for a ready means of escape. This way! Well, that didn't take long. It seems these tunnels were not as secret as I'd hoped. You two, go on ahead. Thancred and I will deal with this. What? What do you mean to do? Play cards. Only that which is required to ensure that the dawn's light survive to brighten the morrow. Fear not, antecedent. You haven't seen the last of these fair features. My friends. Leave us. Yeah, you better listen to your stolas, you will kick your ass. What is the plan, milady? Shall I take the dozen on the left and you the dozen on the right? The odds are not exactly stacked in our favor. Numbers will count for little when I bring the tunnel down upon their heads. Though I cannot say I relish the thought of being entombed with you for all eternity. You wound me. I will have you know that many a maid would kill for the chance to spend forever at my side. Now, may I have the last dance? You should have bought better blades, dude. Yeah, I like that. Oh man, he took an arrow to the knee. Well, this is going splendidly. Now would be a good time, my lady. Tis done. I'm a screenshot enthusiast, forgive me. God damn good picture there. Farewell, Infilia. That's that that is very bright. She's fucking stabbing you in the back, hun. No. I must remain behind, but you cannot stay with me. Please, you must go on. You are the warrior of light. You are hope for the Scions and for all the realm. As long as your flame continues to burn, the light of the dawn may ever be relit. You must escape and save Eorzea from those who would plunge it into darkness. Tis the only way. Wait, this is where we fought the very first troll. Yeah. Well, not the very first one, but we fought a troll over here, I'm sure of it.
Or is that the Uldan line of story? Like, we started in Limsa. Is, is fighting the Troll Uldan storyline? The fuck's that? Okay, that Lala fell as an identity crisis. I am glad to see you safe, my friend. What of the others? Damn that man! Taleji played me for a fool! I thought the Crystal Brave's mine till the very moment I felt the blade at my back. There will be ample time for soul searching later. For now, we must put some moms between us and Ulda. No way. Well, would you look who it is? Need a ride? I doubt it'll be half as exciting as the last trip we took. Not if I Jesus have anything to say Christ. about it anyway. The very first guy to talk to us, huh? Of the of the boat. Let's not dawdle, eh? All aboard. I don't like Elfenot with that cap down. Uh, that's some strange torches these guys are having. Still, man, the side of Ulda is bloody amazing. I was stocking up on supplies over in Vespa Bay, you see, when your sister come up and begged a favor. Said her brother was having some trouble down in Ulda and likely needed a helping hand getting away. Well, his sister is a lot smarter than he is. I think in them ruins would make a fine hiding place. I decided to try there first. And lo and behold, there you were. Aye, and judging by them soldiers as we're pouring out of the city, I arrived not a moment too soon. Ha! Must have been fate that we happened to find you there, though, eh? I had thought to look out for Alize, but would appear she was the one watching over me. I've made such a mess of things. And who might you be, young sir? Pippin Taropin, Vice Marshal of the Immortal Flames. I had been on the Alamegan front these past few moons, but an urgent communication called me back to Uldar. <coughs> Scarce had my boots touched the cobbles, though, when the streets erupted with cries of assassination. I immediately went in search of answers and came across Master Alfino here. Needless to say, I did not think his imprisonment justified. The blame plainly lies with the Monetarists. Their greed and corruption are well known to me, but for them to take advantage of the situation with such alacrity... Was that Pippin, you said? Ain't that the name of General Alden's lad? Yes, I am his son. Adopted, of course. It was only as we were leaving Uldar that I learned of father's fate. Once I have seen you a safe distance away, 
I mean to return to the city and extricate him from this madness. Then you needn't travel no further than Blackbrush. Our fugitives have a friend waiting for them there. I dreamed of bringing about Eorzea's salvation, but in the end, was I who needed saving? Oh, it, what the f oh, come on. All right. Uh, them soldiers will keep searching for a while yet. Reckon we'll take the carriage back towards Ulda and get the lad. The lay of the land may provide a distraction if need be. You free wait here. Help will be along shortly. Stay strong, friends. The real fights to come. All right, let's go. Could I not just have voiced these two sentences? The most us uh, unassuming folk can provide uh, can prove to be our greatest allies. The fellow was but a passing merchant, yet he lent us aid without a moment's hesitation or any hint of concern for his own safety. Though I can well imagine how a man would feel inspired to risk all in your presence. Father spoke often of you. And long have I looked forward to our first meeting. Unless, of needless to say, this is not all how I envisioned it. Master Arfanot, we must not give in to despair. This would only play into our enemy's hands. So long as you and Une are free, we may still have things right. We may be able to set things right. Forgive me, Marshal, but I... Alfinet, my boy. Sorry to keep you waiting. That must be Sid. Yeah. Sid, what are you doing here? Putting you out of the fire as usual. Your merchant friend told me everything. Truly. Then he is no merchant, but an angel in peddler's clothing. But tell us. How do you intend to bear our friends to safety? I hit the Enterprise, but a short distance away. All I need is a destination. We must first find a place uh, beyond the reach of both the Monasterist and the Crystal Braves. <laughs> Which will be difficult. Kurtas, Isgard will not suffer the intrusion of foreign forces into their territory. That settles it with me, everyone. Not I. I fear I must remain here. I dare not abandon Uldar to the monetarists and their cronies. You may be certain that they will seek to defame you, both here and in the other city-state. But know that I shall do my utmost to thwart their every effort. Frankly, I do not expect to be much of a challenge. The small folk will not turn on... Turn so easily on the warrior of light and allies, no matter what the monitors claim. Marshal, I know not what to say. Ah, now that father would labor to believe. But enough talk, you must go. Master Arfinot, your ship awaits. All right. Up, up, there's no rest for the righteous.
We should make for Captain Dragonhead and speak to Lord Harshifon. Mayhap, mayhap he will know what to do. Okay. Master Alphanet told me a tale. When? When the fuck did he do that? It warms my heart that you should turn on, uh, turn to me before all others. But I shall endeavor to deserve, and I shall endeavor to deserve your trust. Alas, the situation here has grown more complicated in your absence. It would be best if I explained in full. Okay. There has been word from the capital. Ishgard has weathered another assault. And tis said several wyverns broke through into the city proper. How? The Temple Knights succeeded in slaying the beasts. But the intrusion prompted orders to further strengthen the guard. And to place the city under a perpetual state of alert. How keenly we feel the loss of our wards at the gates of judgment. Yet we must not bemoan our misfortune. Sir Emmerich is safely returned from Uldar, and once more leads the defense of Ishgard. As for the matter of your asylum, I am afraid no progress will be made until the threat to our nation is diminished. But do not despair. You are not without allies. You are more than welcome to shelter here for as long as you wish. Pray. Think of it as a new headquarters of sorts. <laughs> the falling snows or something. The falling snows. Oh yeah, that's that's good. I like that. All frivolity aside, any who come here in search of you will receive no aid from House Fortom. For once, the Ishgardian reputation for inhospitality shall work in our favor. Agents of Uldar will find their every inquiry dismissed and their every request for entry rebuffed until such time as their masters have acknowledged your innocence. Well, there's a broken child. You once fought to preserve the honor of my dear friend. Tis a blessing that I may now repay that debt in kind. But let us dwell no more on this. Pray. Join the rest of your companions. Tis bitterly cold this day. I suspect there are those who might welcome the warmth your presence brings. Okay, we need to talk with the house for Tub's guards. Which... Apparently are over here. Okay, there's going to be several cutscenes again. Fuck yeah, I will do it. I might have to grab a plate and 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 and, and eat something because I I, I kind of hope this isn't like another thirty minutes because I do need to eat and then take a nap before my night shifts. Alvin, is that really you? I'm so happy that that you are I tried contacting Minfilia and the others, but no one would respond. And then the Crystal Braves. Your own people turned on us in the marketplace. Uh you see the the, the thing is over here, Flynn uh Flum Flumin? Told me to run, and so I did. I ran, and I ran until my lungs burned and my feet ached. But I lost my way, and then... 
Fortunately, I had observed one of the Braves behaving suspiciously beforehand. There we go. Ah, yes, my mask. It was lost in the struggle. I, I can we'll make you a new one. Yes, he is. Anyways, after Yuguri found me, we traveled from to Vesper Bay and met up with Urange. And we told him what had happened. He used his magics to weave a glamour around the walking sand. From the outside, our old headquarters now looks like an abandoned storehouse. The transformation didn't take long. Either apparently Orange started making preparations after the Imperial attack, just in, ca in case the Emperor ever chose to pay us another visit. Good thinking, eh? Sorry, where was I? Oh yes, we've been waiting here in the walking sand at the walking sands, hoping one would come, but no one else did. My people are searching for the other signs even as we speak, but we have met with no successes yet. I had hoped that you might be able to suggest further places to look. Ah, uh, but you should know the rising stones did not share the walking sands' good fortune. Only crystal braves await you there. Be that as it may, we yet have cause to hope, do we not? If the two of you escaped, it is possible that the others would have done so as well. You may have been forsaken by men and women believing, believed true. You may have been forsaken by men and women believed true, but rest assured that the people of Doma yet stand with you. We welcome this opportunity to repay our debts and shall continue our effort to locate the others and see the signs restored to their rightful place of honor. I am a sassy. It is all my doing. I believed myself the only one who truly understood Eorzea's woes. And look what that arrogance has wrought. Yeah, you were pretty arrogant. I gave commands, influenced governments with my certainty. I treated the Crystal Braves and even the Scions themselves as pawns in my great scheme to save the realm. But in my headlong rush into imagined glory, I paid no heed to the ground upon which I trod. The salvation of Eorzea. What was it that I hoped to achieve? Did I believe that I could rid the realm of every danger and difficulty? That I could defeat the Empire and the Asians, And find homes for every refugee? Oh yes, I was so very clever. Become a guardian of Eorzea, I implored. And sat back to watch my perfect army cleanse the land of chaos. Which was all but a means to feed my own vanity. Only when all is lost do I finally realize the truth. Oh, Alfino. Well, he's right. Ah, hot cocoa. So, Master Alfino, are you content to remain a broken blade? Is there no flame hot enough to reforge you? I really like this guy so much. What of the fine companions who yet stand at your side? I dare say the fires of their determination will soon have you slicing the air again with your customary wit. I hardly deserve such friendship. And besides, where are we to go? Ish God, dude. If I may? Should this place not serve our purpose, then then we shall go to Ishgard. There's a smart uh, the Lollafell. Minfilia told me many times as long as we stand fast against despair, the beacon of hope will never be lost to sight. Be it in the snow or in the clouds. 
We few will see that the dawn's light shines again. You are right, Totaru. Thank you. And thank you for your kind words, Lord Orshfong. Tis true that Eorzea yet has her guardians. The Scions have achieved much, and would be remiss of me to discard it all in a fit of self-pity. Let us then resume our journey, together, one step at a time. We did it! Hey MC, how you doing? Welcome to the end of A Realm Reborn and the start of what will be Heaven's Ward. The first expansion of Final Fantasy XIV. Hope you are doing well. Uh, of course, we're not going to be watching all of this because, well, quite frankly, uh, that is um, too much for me. It will take a long time. The first time I was playing through this, I actually did. And it does take a long ass time. Even though the music is great. Doing good. I'm happy that we're All finally getting into the third. First expansion. I'm so happy about it. The first expansion really is so damn good. Yeah, it takes a long time. A lot of people actually worked on it. Um, you, you actually have them twice, right? You'll have them right after the main... Like, the actual... This is not really the end end of the of Realm Reborn. Because it happened, like, after level 50. When you, you fight with, I think, like, uh, the Black Wolf. Or whatever it's called again. But this are the, the post thing. This is just... I think everything again. I'm not sure how that works because this up until patch 2.55, it is still like a Realm Reborn stuff, but it's named differently. Like this is Before the Fall Part 2. And previously yet Before the Fall Part 1 and yet Dreams of Ice and stuff like that. So uh, I think it's more on those credits as well. But let's, uh, let's watch through this because I can't wait to actually get some dinner. Uh, Nabrealis is no more. The ardor was not his to invoke. His demise was of his own making. Nevertheless, it concerns me. They have extinguished what uh, that which should rightly be eternal. I guess you're not eternal then, eh? Mayhap he was not wholly mistaken. Greater haste may be warranted. Warranted. We are of one mind. The northern lands, then. Okay, that is Ishgard. 
The earth is fertile and the seed will sown. By my will they shall reap salvation unlike any the world has known. By his will. By his will. Okay? By, by my will. Fine. I'll do it. Stop planting, guys. Time to be a botanist. Who the hell is that? Wait. I have answered thy summons, emissary. Speak and make thy intent known. I would speak of fate, Archon. Yours, mine, the faith of this very star. There we go. Holy shit. Uh, uh, uh. Thou thinkest sanctuary lieth beyond delusion, despair, death. Thou shalt find naught else here. Okay, I'll take it. There we go. Oh, my left arm. That's it, guys. Oh, I'm so happy about this. You can really imagine. This is the very first. Coming to Ishgard, uh, better X around is because we actually, you know, we're now in Heaven's Ward. This is the very, very first mission. The Heaven's Ward main scenario. Coming to Ishgard. And I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, of course, this will be the part where I end my stream. We'll, um, next time, we'll start with Elfinod over there going towards Ishgard. And I want to thank you all for being here today. Four hours it took me to go through 2.55 completely. So, yeah, it's been a long sit. Uh, I'm going to quickly grab some dinner, feed the dogs, take a nap. Prepare for work tonight. <sighs> Anyways, guys. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. I have been having a great stream. And I'll see you next time. If you are here, you have not followed just yet. If you are willing, give me a follow. Um, maybe do that, that, that follow thing that you get a notification. That's up to you. I'll leave that to you guys. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.